Welcome back, everyone! It's time for another exciting episode of Xana's Ocarina of Time Abridged series. Today's episode covers the second chapter of Link's heroic adventure. But before we begin, a quick announcement. Catherine, it's me, Shard, remember? Uh, we, we met at, last night at Tama's bar. Remember when we exchanged each other's phone numbers? Well, it seems that you accidentally forgot to write all seven digits. Instead, you just wrote nine, and a list of nine reasons why you would never date me underneath that. Now, since I'm sure this is clearly just an honest mistake and not some kind of rejection or anything, I would really appreciate it if you called me back and gave me the rest of your digits. I mean, it was just a mistake, right? <laughs> well, it must have been. If you had rejected me, I'd be in denial. <laughs> Anyways, you have my number, so call me back when you get a chance. I'll talk to you later. Kisses. Okay, now that that's done, now for the episode. In today's chapter, the Great Deku Tree tells Link of a dangerous evil force that threatens the Kingdom of Hyrule. Even more dangerous than Mare Bow in a daycare center. A force that threatens the life of every man, woman, and child in the king- Did somebody say child? Speak of the devil. Hey, how's the narration going? Mare Bow, what are you doing here? I ran over as soon as I heard you were doing Ocarina of Time. What part are you at? Did I miss the forest full of children? Mare Bow, go away. But I want to help tell the story. What could you possibly do to help? I'm already narrating the story. You can still narrate. You can use your mouth, and I can use my penis. Mare Bow, do I have to call Chris Hansen? Ah, okay, I'm leaving. Oh great, the opening scene is almost over, and Mare Bow used up all of my time. I don't even have enough time to finish this sentence. See, Link, this adventure has only begun! Yay, cliffhanger! It's the beginning of the episode. Oh. Well, that line doesn't make much sense in this context now, does it? Navi, the grown-ups are talking. Oh, gotcha. I had to think about muffins for a while. You were saying? Well, you see, Link, thou art more than just an ordinary child. Thou hast been chosen by fate. Mmm, muffins. Thou hast been chosen by fate to be the legendary hero. It is thy destiny to venture across Hyrule and save this world from the forces of evil. So, what thinketh thee of all this? Wow, this is really going to cut into my masturbation time. Okay, this is like the second masturbation joke thou hast made so far. Is that seriously all thou do in thy spare time? Of course it is. That's why I don't bother wearing pants. Easy access. Okay, that beeth disgusting. Hey, I'm young and lonely. Don't judge me. Link, there is much that I must tell thee before I perish. Now listen carefully, for my end is nigh. Nigh? Nigh! The man who hath cursed me, the force of evil that thou must vanquish, is a man named- Ooh, ooh, is it Ganondorf? Damn it, Navi, what did I say? Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> so, who's Ganondorf? I shall show thee, via dramatic cutscene. Now watch, as the camera slowly zooms into blackout on my mouth. Ganondorf traveled here from the Gerudo Desert on his mighty black steed. Ah, where did all this fire come from? He came here in search of one thing and one thing only. The Triforce. Ow, I'm getting third degree burns. However, the story of the Triforce itself goes back to the very creation of Hyrule. You see, before the beginning of time, all that existed was darkness, empty space, and sparkly rain. Then, three golden goddesses, referred to in the Hylian Bible as the original Golden Girls, descended from the heavens and created our world. Their reasons for doing so nobody knows, but it was probably for divine purposes beyond our comprehension. I'm bored. Wanna create the universe? Yeah, sure, why not? Din created the earth upon which we stand. Nairu gave the spirit of law to the world. And Ferrore created the inhabitants of the land who didn't give a damn about those laws. After a painstaking three and a half minutes of intensive labor, Hyrule was born. The final product was very disappointing, but at least their work was complete. However, upon returning to the heavens, they realized that as goddesses they completely defied the laws of science. Thus the universe divided by zero and the goddesses spontaneously combusted. In the midst of the explosion, the golden mangled corpses were crushed together into the form of a triangle. 
This triangle became known as the Triforce, the divine relic containing the power of the goddesses. And it is prophesied that whoever touches this object shall be granted their power. This is why thou must stop Ganondorf from obtaining the Triforce. But why me? Why was I chosen to be the legendary hero? Because thou like to cut things. Right. So Link, art thou ready to embark on this perilous life-changing journey? The outcome of which shall determine the fate of the entire Kingdom of Hyrule. I'm 10. Excellent, you'll do fine. Look, I want ultimate power as much as the next guy, but what makes Ganondorf so dangerous? Ganondorf is driven by a motivation far greater than that of any criminal in Hyrule. His penis. I'm sorry, did you say his penis? You see, Ganondorf's penis is so small that the only way to compensate for it would be to obtain the powers of a god and conquer the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Okay, nobody's penis can be that small. Ganondorf's is. Didn't start watch the first series? It's a miracle of science, even for a fantasy game. How small is it exactly? Smaller than Navi's IQ. Moo, I'm a bunny. Dear God, with a penis that small, there's no telling what he's capable of. That is why he must be stopped. For if Ganondorf obtains the Triforce, he shall shape the world in his image. And that would looketh ridiculous. Well, having the entire kingdom destroyed would definitely cut into my free time. I suppose it's an issue worth looking into. But before I embark on this magical fairy tale quest, I do feel inclined to ask, why does this train wreck of a fairy have to come with me? Yay, I'm a train wreck! That's not a compliment! Well, I'm going to die, and I need someone to keep an eye on her. You know, make sure she doesn't violate her restraining orders. She's going to get me killed! Oh, stop, you're making me blush. Well, like it or not, she beeth your guardian fairy. My guardian? She is mentally unfit to be my legal guardian. Look at her, she doesn't even understand the fourth wall. Ah, who are those people and why are they staring at us? That is the audience, Navi. Ooh, we have an audience? Cool! Hi, audience! Wow, look at all the fat people. Navi, don't insult the audience. They'll leave angry comments. Can we return to the matter at hand? You know, I don't know which is going to kill me first, the termites or thy complaining. Look, it's one thing having me babysit this ball and chain, but don't stand there and try to pass her off as something helpful. Okay, come on, she isn't that bad. She's more useless than the emergency exit on an airplane. Oh my god, the plane is crashing! Quick, everyone, out the emergency exit! Holy crap! What is the point of this thing? Hey, that beeth unfair. Thou canst use examples from the future. Fair or not, you know I'm right. I wish I could fly. That would be so cool. If I could fly, I'd do it all the time. And I would never take it for granted like some clueless idiot. I rest my case. Okay, you're right. She's an idiot. Then why do I have to carry her around with me? Because I said so. And why should I care what you say? Because I'm a giant freaking oak tree with a mustache. I know what I'm talking about. I really hate you, you know that? Canst thou cutteth me some slack? I'm dying. Well, what can I say, Deku Tree? I'll miss you like herpes. Link, my time be almost up. It is now up to thee. The fate of Hyrule is in thy hands. Leave this forest, and travel to Hyrule Castle. There thou shalt meet Princess Zelda, and she shall tell thee what to do. Hurry, Link, before it is too late. Oh, termites. I guess it's time for us to leave. Hey, Navi, I still think you're an annoying imbecile, but I know this must be tough on you. The Deku tree was your friend after all. How are you holding up? Wow, look at the size of that tree. <sighs> Can't say that surprised me. Well, if there's nothing left to do here, I suppose we might as well leave. Oh wait! Ah, oh, what the hell? I almost forgot to give thee the spiritual stone. Sorry about that. Here you go. Alright, goodbye. But wait, I don't understand. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Go! Ah!